Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones Windows Coming. We will have another update video. Uh, we've had an update hitting the live servers a couple of days ago and this update obviously focuses around the addition of House of Dragons that's coming uh, or that has been released. So it focuses around dragons mainly and a few other smaller things but we can take a look at the update uh, patch notes as you can see. So the new content that has been added to the game is that there's been a new support dragon system and a new support dragon in the form of a lightning dragon that has been added to the game which we will take a look at. Uh, how it's basically working, how you can get it and how it's upgraded and how the support system is supposed to work. Then they have added the uh, Future event Dance of the Dragons, which of course is to tie in with the House of Dragons that's been airing right now. And these things are a series of events that are coming to the game, which we also take a look at. They are tied together with the other things that we have currently because uh, of the new Lightning Dragon and the new commander that's also been added, which isn't listed on the patch notes here. Then the season 2 of the Battle of the Narrow Sea event is about to begin as well. Which is not a huge deal, they have made some changes around it where the amount of map pieces you need uh, has been reduced from 6 to 4 and I believe you can't stack unlimited uh, endurance, I believe the currency is in that event. So you can keep repeat hitting over and over and over and it's they have done some balancing so it should be a little bit different from the first season but overall the main things are the same. And maybe this time around I'll actually make a video about it to kind of show how we can get a high score in it. Or at least attempt to. And then, of course, the All Out War event has also been added. Uh, after testing, I have not that much to say about it. There are some tweaks to it, of course, compared to how it was at the testing server. If you're interested in watching or seeing how the event plays out on the testing server, then I have three videos on my channel which are not that old, I believe it's like one or two weeks old from this one, so you can look them up and take a look at how the event works if you want to. And then there's of course some improved tips for commander weapons and tokens, improved guide text for knighthood gift and improved some other game experience. So all in all, not really that huge. We have of course as I said a new commander as well added uh, that has been listed, but you're going to take a look at some of the main things and then see how it affects the game. So, first things first, we have the new dragon system. You can see that we have the three normal dragons, uh, combat dragons at the top. Then we have an egg down here. There's an X, which shows what's supposed to be war dragons. And then below we have another icon, which I can't really see what it is, uh, which is the support dragons. Uh, so it could indicate that there'll be more than one support dragon in the future, which is a nice change. Uh, I had hoped that maybe they could have added diables instead, but I'll take support dragons as well. And down here you can see the egg, uh, you can see how it will look like, and you can see what it will have at the different stages of growth. How you have to now you have to kind of understand that the system is different of the other ones. Uh, in this case, it's more of a talent-based system. So you get it to world one, then it will unlock these two uh, abilities to talent in. And depending on the level, the growth and so on, you will get more talent points that you can put in. And of course, this means that the dragon will can focus around being a defensive dragon, for example. You can see here, uh, dragon defense increase. You can potentially also get uh, offensive one, dragon power increase, uh, which is not to be um, uh, confused with the uh, BR increase. It's actually power, like the damage that the dragon does. And then once it gets to Drake 1 stage, you can add in, for example, talents into cavalry defense or infantry defense, spearman defense and so on. And it applies to all the ones at the bottom is the ancient dragon level where the uh, buffs will be changed to debuffs for enemy sides. So enemy cavalry attack reduction, for example, if you're into that. And overall, it's a nice change, different system, of course, and it's a talent system. So it's not really that difficult to understand in that regard. And to unlock the dragon, you go to the merchant. And you can see the dragon 
lightning egg is here for 300 uh, marks of the true dragon I believe it is called and then you buy it you have the egg instantly not that difficult and once you have the egg you just infuse it with these lightning essence uh, which I have five of of course and then hatch and then it will take 24 hours to hatch which is standard it's the same for any other dragon pretty much uh, when you hatch them and in the merchant you can see at the bottom that you can buy lightning essence you can buy two lightning essence a day for i believe it is 15 marks each so 30 marks in total and that's how you can upgrade and make your dragon stronger Overall, really nice system, and you should probably try to get as far as possible because of the Dance of Train event, which we'll take a look at uh, look at a bit later in this video. So, um, another big thing that has been added to the game, which hasn't really been shown yet, but is in the game files and live on the servers, is the new Commander Sinel. And Sinel is an uh, interesting one in the sense that she is the uh, Calf equivalent to the Daron and the Dina commanders. So she has 50% uh, cavalry attack, 25% total defense, and then reduce enemy spearmen with uh, like cavalry counter ratio by 25%. All not, all not, um, super simple, nothing really big in that regard. And in terms of skills, uh, she seems to be focused more towards PvP than any other uh, aspect of the game currently. Uh, her active skill is a single target skill that deals uh, 1500 or 15,392 damage and stuns uh, the enemy for 2 seconds and reduces might by 500 which is really good because might is what you need to use active skills so having a stun and might reduction in one uh, can be really useful in certain setups and uh, training grounds, especially against shields and stuff like where they are might uh, focused. Every eight seconds, dispel buffs on random, debuffs on random allies and heals them for eleven thousand two hundred forty-eight. So she's also a supportive uh, aspect into it, uh, despite uh, being single target attack. Uh, Reduce all skill damage taken by forty percent, and then lastly adds fifty percent to control immunity, which means that. She takes uh, only half the time um, of stunts and stuff, stuff like that, uh, compared to others. For example, if the enemy has a two-second stun, then she will only be stunned for one second instead because of the 50% control immunity. So overall, a uh, really interesting commander. I assume that the awakening skill will be synergized with the female uh, setup because she's a female commander as well, calf commander, and. Uh, other two, Dina has synergized with the weakness setup and Daron synergizes with the uh, on hit extra attack setup. So it will make sense that Sinel will be focused around the uh, active army skill up, uh, skill uh, setup instead. Before finishing this video, of course, we're going to take a look at the Dance of the Dragons event that's currently running on the live service as well. That's been added with, uh, along with the last update. And these are a series of events that have been added that you can do. The first one is the login event, which is typical. We have it almost several times a year usually. Gives all sorts of things uh, like elite general tokens, uh, elite uh, epic tokens, or oh, epic general tokens, sorry. A, uh, a universal troop medals, S universal troop medals, SS, uh, bunch of gold, badges. So all really nice also gives uh, some blue diamonds and uh, shots for the wedding between lion and wolf uh, photo photo so all in all it means that i believe it's the season three album that these photo shots in so that's a new page that you get once you get all the uh, photo shots from here and then there's the all out war which will be added uh, has been added which will start in i believe seven days or something like that then we have the Blood Dragon's Awakening, which is focused around the Lightning Dragon, uh, getting a higher level would give you certain rewards, meets, and uh, another photo chest for another page in the Season 3 album. So that will bring the total, I believe, up to four or five pages in the new Season album. Um, I believe All Out War will have one as well. So I believe it's five in total. 
I know wall really nice. Uh, highly recommend you to do this if you can. Uh, try to get it up as high as possible. Uh, mainly because I don't know how you will get chests otherwise, uh, since it's been the only way. And there's of course also a nice border, some drag blessings and so on, so on. So overall, really nice uh, for those that want to increase the dragon, new dragon faster. Then there's the exchange uh, for other small quests that you can do. Uh, these quests will be, for example, hitting rebel leaders, uh, doing rebel camps, speed ups, uh, stuff like that, which will give you these uh, tokens here, Blood Dragon's Emblem, which you then can use to exchange for rewards, uh, for example, Lightning Essence. You can also get some uh, older photo chests if you want to, some Dragon Shadow Essence if you want to, that, to go that route, or Blessing Stones. And of course there's a cap of how many you can have, or how many you can get, so keep that in mind as well. But overall really nice, really cool. Uh, and it's also the, your main way to actually upgrade or get the Lightning Essence before All Out War, because it will be All Out War will have these as a reward as well. Uh, the Hunting Festival, which is this time around is focused around Dragon Skills, uh, overall standard, uh, usual. I believe you, get, you can get up to 3 arrows, you get one free. Uh, one for 10k blue diamonds and one for, I can't remember if 3 million or 6 million uh, gold. Oh, never mind. It's uh, 2 million gold, I think. Unless I'm blind. Uh, could also be more. more. Either way, uh, you have 3 arrows you can use. Rewards are decent overall. I would assume that's universal. Everyone needs kind of bit of everything. And overall, interesting event. Uh, will be gone in one day and 11 hours so by the time i upload this video will probably only be one day left of it then there's two mysterious events here which is probably going to focus around sinel and her awakening uh, so we get the sinel wheel and the sinel, sinel uh, upgrade uh, rewards and then the last event is uh, unknown at the point at this point uh, i personally hope for potentially return to Westeros, uh, could also be something else entirely, can't really say what it is, but these are the events that have been currently added to the game and there might be others to come as well. But I hope you found this video useful, uh, like, comment if you want to, subscribe to the channel if you're new, or want to follow along on other updates or other videos, and yeah, um, if you want to play the game the link is down in the description below, uh, so it is for the Game of Thrones disc Discord whoop. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend, take care and enjoy the events. Bye bye!